All right, everybody, the long awaited next installment of my S10 project. Okay, so what I'm doing today is I'm underneath the truck and I'm gonna modify this factory cross member in order to make it fit with this transmission. I could fabricate a whole new one, but frankly, there's a material here that I can work with and it's got factory mounting points, so I don't have to worry about making any new mounting points. So I'm just gonna use what I've got, you know, recycle, reduce, reuse, all that good stuff. So my plan here is I've got my transmission sitting where I want it to sit. I've put the drive shaft in it. Everything lines up the way I want it to line up. So what I'm gonna do to modify this, I think I'm gonna cut it right here and then cut it right about here I'm gonna raise this center section up an inch and a half, which is where it needs to be. And also at the same time, I'm gonna shift it an inch and a quarter that way to get this factory bolt hole that you see right there to line up with the screw or the bolt that's sticking out of the bottom of the transmission mount. Because right now it's off by about an inch and a quarter. Um, also, I think what I'm gonna do is notch this out a bit right here. Probably cut that out just like this cut that out and then re-weld that up in there to give me a little bit more clearance for my exhaust coming out this side because obviously this side has been clearanced um, this one is not and I'm gonna have the dual exhaust so I'm gonna try to notch this up I may even use a little bit of uh, flat bar steel flat bar to raise that section up right there and give me even more clearance for my exhaust I think that's probably a good idea but what I'm gonna do is just kind of chop it all up and start putting it, putting it in there the way I want and see how everything fits and take it from there. So follow me along, here we go. What's going on here? I think what I'm gonna do instead of cutting each side and moving it and shifting it and all that stuff, I'm just gonna cut this plate off. It's welded right around here. And actually if I move this right up to this edge, that's about an inch and a half up, which is what I need. So I'll just cut it off and weld it here. But I'm also gonna take some flat bar and put it on the other side of this here that way it allowed me to slide it forward an inch and a quarter and I'll just weld in a filler plate back there as well. So I think that's a better plan. And then what I can do is just come around here and just give myself a little more clearance for some exhaust. I can do the same thing over on this side, notch this out, give me some more clearance for exhaust. Um, Cause I'm definitely gonna need that, especially on this side. This side I may be able to get away with not modifying at all, but I think I'd rather do it anyways just to give myself some more room. I feel like there's not a lot of room under that truck and you know, the more room I can get, the better. Okay, just wanted to show you guys where I'm at here. I went ahead and cut the uh, bracket off. You can see where it was before. And I've welded on these two little tabs. Um, you can see one's actually higher than the other and that's because down here, this bracket, it was the same thing. One was higher than the other. I don't know if it was, was if it was welded incorrectly from the factory or if that's the way it sits, but I'm going to keep it that way because I don't want to mess up any of the geometry of the way this stuff's supposed to sit here. So, the point of these two brackets, if I can get this thing to sit the way I want it to sit so I can show you. Uh, I'm going to use my foot, I guess. Sorry about the shaky camera business. All right. Is to hold this out here like this and you see how I welded it inward a little bit so I can float this around a little bit side to side front to back and everything because actually when this comes forward you're not bringing it an inch and a quarter away from the tube you're bringing it an inch and a quarter forward this way towards the front of the truck so I've got this situated the way I want it to be or I don't have it situated yet but what I'm gonna do is take the magnets I got a couple of magnets here, a big magnet, so I got it Harbor Freight. I'm just going to plop these right on top here, right on top of the other piece, uh, situate it where I need it to be, which is, it's an inch and a half up now, just need to get an inch and a quarter forward. And then I'll go ahead and weld it to these brackets and then make filler plates to go around and uh, hold it in there. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll show you the end result. Um, I determined it was an inch gap that needed to be right here. So I put in my inch gap and put a couple tack welds in. What I'm going to do at this point is go ahead and uh, go test fit it in the truck, see what we've got, make sure it's in the right position before I go ahead and weld everything else up. Because that's the last thing I want to do is get this thing all welded up, find out it's not correct, 
and then I'll pretty much have to start over at that point. Do you see how I had that little offset like it was welded from the factory? That's actually messing me up right now. So what I'm going to do is cut this side off and lower it down like the other side. And I think we'll be perfect at that point because as you can see, we're lining right up with the uh, bolt hole and everything else. And we're just about at the right height. Um, that's a little bit low lined up over here. But once I uh, get that angle corrected, we'll be looking good. So I'm going to cut that off and so fix that. First of my filler plates cut out, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing welded in. Okay, so after some cutting of some material and what you could loosely call welding by uh, joining two pieces of metal together with a flux core uh, welder, this is what I've got. So I tried to grind the weld down a bit so it didn't look quite so shitty. I know it looks pretty bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a like a fantastic welder or anything like that. Uh, but this is functional. It's going to work. It's going to hold my transmission where I need it to. Uh, I ran out of welding wire, so I'm going to go weld up or go get some welding wire, finish welding the side over here, grind it down. I'm going to hit this with some black spray paint and then put it in position in the truck. Show you the what next thing got. I'm going to work on is raising this area so that I have clearance of my exhaust. I'm just going to, well, I've only got a square and uh, right here and right here, I'm just going to cut off. Cut it, cut it right through, and then the section here, I'm gonna cut the welds. I'm gonna recess this up into that, and then I'll kinda of cut um, a notch out here, and then bend the metal up from the bottom. You'll see what I mean. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here, and then I think I'm gonna also make a cut here, raise this up. Well, actually, that probably won't work because of this weird business going on here, but I can definitely do it on this side. Make a cut, bring this up, and then just kind of gusted it. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain what I mean, but you'll see what I'm doing. Okay, so I've done some cutting, welding, and grinding, and this is where I'm currently at. As I said before, I cut those notches in here. Um, what I did was I kind of cut a triangle out and beat down the extra metal down. So I cut in and then out, down like that, bent this down with a hammer, welded it all in, ground it back out, I'm um, actually test fit in the truck and this fits pretty good. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to take this other piece here that was the bottom part of this since it kind of had two plates sandwiched together. That's the construction that's going on. I cut the weld and I've got this piece. So what I'm going to do is cut it right here along this line and reuse this piece and I'm going to cut a little extra off the edge so it'll fit up inside here and I'm going to weld that all in there as well. Then I'm going to weld some gussets along the top to give it a little bit more strength because the way it sits right now it does flex in the truck a little bit and this barely has any attachment right here i don't like that at all so i'm going to beef that up so that's what i'm going to work on now um you can kind of see what i've got going on there'll be two humps for the exhaust and it should work out pretty good give me some pretty good clearance for some exhaust so that's the plan okay here. so after a bunch of welding if you want to call it that a lot of grinding to uh cover up my crappy welds and uh, welding in a couple of gussets on the top here this is what I've come up with um, it doesn't give me quite as much clearance as the other side for exhaust I think I've got four and a half inches there and I think I have three inches on this side but unless you're running more than like a three inch exhaust you should be able to fit that through there and still have it be um, above the frame rail line that way you're not scraping your exhaust on stuff but uh, this was my solution to this I looked around online to see you know what you could buy and I found a straight bar one just a uh, a straight tube with a mount in the middle that went from frame rail to frame rail that was hundred and forty dollars I found another one that uh, had the double humps on it for the dual exhaust 280 and then the next one up which was a little beefier was like for almost $500 I think it was so I think that for a spool of welding wire and uh, one plate of um, flat bar steel I was able to make this happen it's not the best looking thing ever but I mean I really don't care it's gonna function it's gonna be in the truck it's gonna allow for me to run my dual exhaust so uh, we are going to be good I'm gonna go ahead and mount it in the truck show you what it looks like mounted in the okay, truck so after all that cutting and welding this is the result 
Sorry if it's a little bit shaky. I'm just trying to hold the camera underneath the truck. But I've got a little um, room there where I can run the exhaust through. Uh, the transmission is supported by the cross member. And uh, we've got everything where we want it to be. So that's it. I hope this helps you working on your project. Uh, maybe encourages you to reuse your old cross member instead of spending several hundred dollars on a new one. And uh, make sure you subscribe so you check out my other videos for my S10 swap, uh, my V8 swap. Get some ideas, help you out, and uh, hopefully make this easier for you. Thank you very much for watching.